now we continue to dry it dry the lid plate and other part on so I use this uh, microfiber cloth to cover it up gently press gently so you can see the water come up from the lid plate yep it can absorb microfiber clothes is very good to absorb water so this so that's why I'm using it so you can see the whole thing is get dry by itself okay so same thing it goes to this The other part is very easy to dry it, so uh, just use the clothes to wipe it if you do. For this uh, comb, as you can see, uh, after you wash it, you can see the whole comb. see the top plate yeah it's go back to shining and no more dirt it's very clean you can see it same it goes to the bottom plate yep so everything is clean up um, this is the best result that I want so to dry up the whole comb faster i used to use the hair dryer yeah use the hair dryer to blow it I'm just opening up the hair dryer yeah the distance is about one and a half feet away just blow blow on it both sides and you can dry immediately yeah. don't do it too near don't do it too near if you too, put it too near the comb will damage it's very hot yeah. just uh, one and a half feet away about one and a half feet away two blocks yeah and yeah it dries up already before you put the base plate slide and the upper plate I would like to put this uh, this is actually a lip plum you can wish you can get it anyway just a normal lip plum a lip plum yep just put a little bit just put a little bit on top of it on top of the base plate just a little no no need to be too much just a little to have some grab and grease effect yeah both sides just pull a little on it just a little 
no need to be too much yeah same thing just put a little bit on it will do yeah just a little bit you can feel it that's a little bit Slippery, and this lip balm is doing a very good job. This is the bottom plate, so I put a little same thing. Put a little bit. Okay, just a little bit will do. Okay, now we're back with the slide and be careful so you need to know the upper part need to have need to see the hole on the top if you put it upside down the other way around the other way around this is and later on you will you be only can play the sharp notes and when you press this is natural so you got to be take a you got to be take note on this the upper hole is on the top yep so because the upper hole is the natural note and when you press it this is the sharp okay now you put it back. Okay, the top plate, and now you put back the more piece. Yep, and screw it back, and that's it. Just screw it back. Ready. Okay, don't screw it too tight. Just nice will do. Just nice will do. Okay. So we can see when it getting closer. I screw it slowly. And you can feel it just nice. Yeah, just nice. It's, it's done. It's very smooth. Okay. And now we are putting back the reed plate. Reed plate. The upper plate. The upper reed plate. Yep, here we go. The upper reed plate. This is the upper reed plate. Yep. So you can see it. The upper reed plate. The left side is low note. The reed is longer. And the right side is the reed is shorter. This is the correct line. So now I can use the uh, poly screwdriver. You can screw it very easily. It won't drop out. Like just now, it's very easy to drop out. But I, it's because the size is different, so I couldn't use this to screw the mouthpiece. This is just designed to screw the replay. And this screw is M2 size. And it's very good. The whole plate. Yeah, just screw it gently. Will do. No need to be hot. No 
no need to be too hard so when you put back the screw you need to be careful it has to be straight enough then only you turn it to screw it or else if the screw get broken inside the holes it will have a very difficulty to 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 unscrew it out to take it out yep. yeah same it goes to the bottom Yep, we have done. Yep. The upper and the lower the plate. Already done. So now putting back the cover plate. This is the top cover plate. Screw. And it's also different size. So I have to use the normal screwdriver. Screw it back. Yeah, let's do it slowly. Okay, just nice will do. Okay, now right side of the screw. Do it slowly. Okay, just nice. And this is the bottom cover plate. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we have done. So the whole harmonica has been cleaned up. And now it back to normal conditions, to the perfect conditions. And yeah, yeah. So everything is clean. Yeah. It back to shining again. Shining again. So this is how I maintain the silver harmonica. So I hope you enjoy it. If you have uh, any questions, uh, feel free to ask and I will try my best to answer. And I hope this video helped you and you could uh, do your own maintenance easily and know how to maintain your harmonica in a very perfect well conditions so every time when you play it it doesn't have any issues and yeah it can it will long long last forever yeah okay thank you so much for watching thank you